Welcome back, Eurofans. It's time for the final four. Who will be our finalists of 2024? Hosts Germany take on Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. Meanwhile, France and England rematch their World Cup quarter final from two years ago. It's semi final time in the Euros. Germany are back where it all began with it all on the line here in Munich. They've come such a long way since the opening crush from Scotland. They take on a new generation Portugal side sprinkled with a touch of nostalgia in the form of Cristiano Ronaldo, who eyes up his third European Championship final. 20 years on from his first, the Greek tragedy of Euro 2004. Nagelsmann's men have come into this tournament under low expectations and they've reached the dizzying heights of the semi-final threshold in their own backyard. They breezed past local rivals the Netherlands in the quarter-final with a clean sheet too. Portugal had to earn their spot against the underdogs to Ukraine. Both sides are eliminated from the real competition but they're reincarnated here in the virtual world of Euro 2024. It's time! Germany take on Portugal here in Munich for a spot in the final. And that's equaled by Ruben Diaz and Gundogan flings it into the stands. Bruno Fernandes. Now here's Cristiano Ronaldo wasting no time at all to clip. The big white stick that holds the net. Aloft here in the Allianz Arena. Silva. Return to him. Now Ronaldo. Has another go and this time he finds the palms of Manuel Neuer. Veteran to veteran. And the sweeper keeper was equal to it. Vietz. Triggering the one-two class with a middle start. As he shrugs off the competition from Silva. Urgently clutched by Costa. Ronaldo pushing off the pressure from Andrik and Gundogan and it's not so much of a stretch for Manuel Neuer but Ronaldo's knuckle walls ain't good for any goalkeeper's nervous system. Havertz was what? Now here is Bernardo Silva puts through Ronaldo who's one on one with Neuer who seems to forget he is allowed to use his hands but Ops for the feet is that a strategy to impose some damage on Ronaldo. Gundogan, drifting away from Pepe, pulling him away from that six yard area. And forced the Gundogan on the half volley and he couldn't control the intent. As the captain peels it wide for Germany. There was a gaping lubed up orifice calling his name. And now a free kick as good as a corner but it's cleared away by Rudiger as far as Cancelo. Vitinha strikes a German. Interplay between him and Palinia, who opens up for a strike. It's swatted away by Neuer. It's Portugal emerging as the more fancied side in the first half of this semi-final. Fernandes to Leal. He was dispossessed by Kimmich, but it's going to be a free kick. And perhaps a visit to Cristiano Country. Here we go. Let the old times roll. It's a free kick from Ronaldo! We've been waiting for this! He's converted many of those successfully in Saudi Arabia. But we've waited a long time to see a classic free kick. Converted expertly, mercilessly, here in Germany. Out of all the attempts in this tournament, that one has to taste so, so good. Germany are going to get an opportunity of their own. It's going to come from Tony Kraus, who clips a crossbar, it springs out as if the framework was a trampoline. Tony Kraus, so close to equaling Cristiano Ronaldo there on the score sheet. Kimmich tries again back to Musiala, who's returned back to his countrymen and his teammate at Bayern. 
Musiala flings one in for Gundogan, and that was the last chance of the first half. And the German captain has had more chances than any from his side. It's Germany nil, Portugal one. Full crook spreads it out to Musiala, fired in towards Gundogan. Musiala dragged down for Andrik, and a chaotic strike parried over like a volleyball from Costa. Seemed to be a write-off, but it came down just in time to concern the Porto keeper. Krabs. Wirt tries to keep it going, but it's going to be a free kick. Kind of Krabs hits the crossbar once again. Would you believe the luck of the impending retiree? Tony Krabs, in what could be his final game, can't keep his tournament alive as long as he hits the woodwork. Musiala to full progress, flicked on to Leroy Zane. And Germany reset the scoreline as Leroy Zane hugs the angel that must have assisted him. It was going to give eventually. The unmistakable onslaught of Deutschland. Full Krug is brought on to score, but he's assisted Zane in the most fanciful fashion. Bernardo bypasses his former clubmate Rudiger. As Bernardo Silva finds Leal! And just minutes later, Portugal are back. Where it all began, they are ahead of Germany with 12 minutes to go. And it's Rafael Leal, despite a violent clash of heads, with Jonathan Tarr, the sacrificial. A chance on goal has paid off. A total wipeout between red and white. And there's the song Panic Station by Muse goes. You won't get much closer till you sacrifice it all. Deutschland in deep trouble. Chan sends one into Fulker again. It's a glancing header just inches wide. The Euro dream is all over for the hosts, Germany, as Cristiano Ronaldo, 20 years on from his first appearance at the Euros, makes a final. With eight goals to his name, Cristiano Ronaldo still has apparent legs in this tournament. Which country will come up against his? Can England make back-to-back -back European Championship finals, or will the Blues make their first since 2016? Deschamps' reparations began after that tournament in their home turf. They went on to win the subsequent World Cup, as well as falling short of the addition of two years ago. Well, it was three years ago that the Free Lions reached their first final since 1966, and they fell short on penalties against the Italians who they swiftly dispossessed in the previous round in the quarterfinals. It will be a rematch of the 2022 World Cup quarter-final. France are the heavy favourites. Can they put on a showcase like Italy and Germany did in this stadium in the 2006 World Cup? First corner of the game, swung in by Shaka, and it's nodded over by Declan Rice. Second corner of the game, Foden plays it short to Shaw. The only change from the quarter-final victory, he stands in for Trippier, and he's went into Kane! Who's left an almighty dent on the goalpost? Griezmann receives it from Hernandez. Rabio. Griezmann to Mbappe. And it's the first time we're seeing him. And that would have been an announcement on his arrival in the semi final. Just as Harry Kane did, he finds the woodwork. Rabio to Griezmann. Now Chiram. Swarmed by Rice and Bellingham. It's as far as Conte, who thrashes at it. Open to catch Pickford off guard. Saka and Hernandez wrestling for position. And it's a beautiful switch of play to Luke Shaw. Bellingham, and here we go, England. And they promise in position as Kane. Couldn't quite choke slam the English into the lead. Very close, though. Well, here in the virtual world, there's no legginess from England's top goal scorer. And then there's this brought down for Conte. And he catches the studs of Rice. 
Rabiot is overlapped. Mainu there in this dangerous station for France. There's Mbappe. Loads one on Pickford at the near post, but it's reasonably dealt with from the Everton keeper. Second half begins here, and it's a change immediately as Olivier Giroud, who scored the winning goal against England in the World Cup quarter final, comes on for a potential last dance or a last roll of the dice to enter the final. Well, that's Luke Shaw off the pitch and out the game as he swings one into Giroud! Who unfortunately finds the goalpost! And an instant impact was nearly had. Kane to Shaw. Bellingham. Still just about has a hold as he finds Rice. Ignores the opportunity to shoot and Shaka scores. But it won't count. An immediate wave off from the referee. It's offside. And Bakayo Saka nearly comes to the rescue once again for England. Rabio hold up towards Dembele. But there was a nervous interception from Gehi. Foden. Mainu and he finds a way to Shaka. Hernandez beats him to it and Saka. Dogged persistence pays off. It's up for Kane. For whom there is no gain. How many times have we seen Saka do this at the Euros? Coming inside on the right and delivering a just as well cross. Just over one hour gone. Still no goals here. There's the fleet footwork of Bellingham. Links up with Rice. It's Kane in the six out area. Oh, what a miraculous save for Mignon. French royalty, this goalkeeping. Unbelievable stop. Bowden swings one in. Bellingham cancelled out by Rabio and Shaw takes a gamble on the not so good right foot. And it could have ended up anywhere. And it's scooped away by Mignon. Bowden, second attempt, and Rice! Oh, and it floats beyond the French net. Mignon is furious. Kunde should have done better. And John Stones knows how valuable of an opportunity that was. Free kick against England. It's Declan Rice. He's the perpetrator. And it's going to be Kylian Mbappe going it alone. Mbappe whistles over the goal net just as Marcus Rashford did in the final moments of that quarter final from two years ago. Rice. Not as deep as he would like, but it's Bellingham thrashes at it. And it's captured by Magnon. To his relief, no doubt. It's Conte down the line to Mbappe. And here's what the English fear the most. The onslaught of Mbappe, but it's read by Stones. Fearlessly brought down. What a tackle. As Mbappe looks up, looking at the referee who can't even look him in the mast eye. He doesn't care. Mbappe can either side still a last minute winner here Foden to Bellingham and still just like when I tried to lose my virginity it just won't go in it's still goalless here between France and England and the dreaded extra time will commence Griezmann lumps it over the top to Koundé Sure, desperately trying to keep in touch in it's Giroud. Who once again has no solution to Jordan Pickford. What a save this is. He's unable to haunt England just as he did in Qatar. Mbappe has found his way through at the near post. Shifts his way from Stones and he couldn't get a clean shot. Rice. Oh Kane, what a ball. Harry Kane, one on one. Does he have the legs? To shorten the gap, but Mignon shuts him down like a greedy wife asking for pocket money. Mystic Mignon of Milan reads the fortune of Harry Kane. Coman puts it onto Mbappe, and he's got a ton of space. What you don't want if you're in an England shirt. And he exerts some of that pressure as he finds Griezmann, who launches it to Giroud, and France take the lead in Dortmund. Five minutes into extra time. But it's for nothing as the referee dangles the flag like a pair of panties from a cock teasing TikToker. The fairy tale script for Giroud is torn up before his very eyes. Saka, Gallagher, Bellingham, and look at the space that Shaw's found himself in. Kane surely beheaded a fan in the stands. 
with a reckless strike. It's just there in your lap. And he throws everything into it. It's kind of moronic if you ask me. Mbappe, French corner. Eight minutes to go of extra time and it's glanced over by Giroud. Rabio, nice back heel. Kante, looking for Coman. That is it. It officially ends goalless between France and England. The dreaded penalty shootout to decide who deserves a spot in that final. Le Tertel, Kid Killian, steps up to take the first penalty against Pickford. Mbappe converts very comfortably, as he should. 1-0 to France. Harry Kane, he's his equal, he is the opposite captain. Kane, straight down the centre. Kingsley Coman for France. To put Le Blues ahead, and he hits the post. England being given an opportunity. There's Bukayo Saka, reluctantly plays the crossbar challenge. Now Olivier Giroud. Gallops forward, and it's saved by Pickford. Hey, dude. Fancy scoring a penalty today? Yes, is the answer. England are now two up against France. Adrian Rabiot to equalise. And that's also saved. Pickford playing a blinder in goal. Ice cold Palmer to send England into... The Euro 2024 final in a very premature penalty shootout. They've done it for the second year running. And so we take a look at the top goal scorers. Unsurprisingly, Cristiano Ronaldo still stands tall. Kylian Mbappe is out of the competition. The Golden Boot almost assuredly comes home to Portugal. But will the European Championship do? As Portugal face England in Berlin. As always, thank you very much for watching. And let me know below what your predictions are for the Euro 2024 virtual final. Stay tuned for the goal of the tournament vote coming up soon. And I'll see you on Sunday.